it's a floating and mobile algae called sarcassum that uh, breeds pretty rapidly and is invading the water at an alarming rate. The Barbados government is treating the onslaught of sargassum seaweed as a national emergency. Its dreamy beaches have been laced with rotting brown algae since April. More piles up there every day. Have you ever heard of sargassum seaweed? No. Have you ever heard of sargassum seaweed? No. Have you ever been to the Caribbean islands? Yeah, I've been to Bermuda. Um, when you were there, did you notice any seaweed that, that was on the beaches? Yeah. Have you ever heard of sargassum seaweed? I have not, no. Have you uh, ever heard of the seaweed on the news or...? No, I have not. Okay. So if you can say your name, your major, and then what year you are. So sargassum is a floating brown algae. Sargassum mats are just a collection of the sargassum algae, and then the landings are when they typically land on um, like on a beach or at a resort or something like that. And so um, there's been an increase in landings, so amounts of like mats ending up on beaches. Yeah, so the mats, when they're typically floating through the water, they're um, a shelter or um, like a breeding ground for fish and other marine organisms. Um, they become kind of an issue when they get close to shore because of animals that breathe air, like sea turtles, they aren't able to get up to the surface. Roberto Cintron, the owner of this hotel, is trying to stop a downward spiral, but he couldn't avoid a few wedding cancellations at his beach. Now he's just keeping his fingers crossed there won't be a domino effect. The explosion of sargassum turns the water opaque, blocking photosynthesis and oxygenation in the coral systems below. I just want to show you how I do or what I use to make a, a, a fertilizer at home. This is seagrass, I forgot the name of it. <clears throat> this is very, very uh, uh, nutritious. I was, looking, I was looking up, I was doing some research and this has a lot, of, a lot of nutrients and a lot of minerals including ca uh, calcium. So this is a very good uh, product to use at home. Saul's an industrial designer. From his home, he's been figuring out how to turn marine plants into bioplastics. Plant pots, bricks, industrial pallets. He's sure the possibilities are endless. With good research and funding, we could develop cartridges of sargassum paste for 3D printers. Maybe one day it will be more lucrative or environmental friendly to harvest sargassum out in the ocean than to plant trees like pine that take 20 years before they can be chopped down. 
few kilometers away, a team of renewable energy researchers are focused on getting natural gas from the algae. Once we've inserted sargassum into the mushroom, we put it in the incubator. Dry sargassum and mushrooms, the simple and clean mix, make methane. Sargassum seaweed is rich in zinc, uh, zinc, copper, manganese, and organic compounds such as uh, oxygen and gibberellins. <laughs> Would you be interested in switching over more eco-friendly fertilizer? Um, yeah, if, if, I mean, obviously if it's better for the environment, mm -hmm. we'd be uh, willing to look at it.